In the history of the NFL, there's only been one Canadian-born quarterback to go on and win the Super Bowl. And that quarterback was Mark Ripon. At the time, playing for the Washington Redskins and winning the Super Bowl. Now, fast forward all these years later, the Patriots have traded Mac Jones to the Jacksonville Jaguars. And we're going to be trying to win with a Canadian quarterback and go all the way to the Super Bowl once again. This time with Victoria BC's born who played for the BC Lions, was then signed by the Jacksonville Jaguars and picked up by the New England Patriots, Nathan Rourke. We're rebuilding the Patriots, but we have to have Nathan Rourke as our quarterback. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to more JDT. Welcome back to Madden 24 on a Patriots rebuild, but with quarterback Nathan Rourke. We get to rebuild anything and everything around Nathan Rourke to try to help him win it. But we cannot actually get rid of Nathan Rourke. He's got to be our franchise quarterback for this whole rebuild. But first, got to hire a head coach. We fired uh, Peter Gaffney here. We're going to hire Kevin Stefanski as our new head coach. Uh, Mike Vrabel, I was hoping, was still there, but he wasn't, so it's fine. We're going to hire a defensive coordinator. Let's go with uh, Ron Rivera. He's available. He's a good defensive coordinator. And I, I kind of just like having an actual person I know. So hire Ron Rivera. And as offensive coordinator, Sean Payton's up there, but... I feel like it's a little weird to have Sean Payton as a. I'm gonna sneeze. <coughs> Dennis Allen. Let's hire Dennis Allen as our offensive coordinator. Uh, we just simmed all the way to the end of this year, so technically the Patriots will be getting a quarterback in the draft. But let's pretend like the Patriots have faith in Nathan Rourke and he's the quarterback of the future, and they don't draft the quarterback this year, guaranteed. So Nathan Rourke, our quarterback of the future, he's actually gonna be playing very cheap for us, so that's very very nice. Nathan Rourke does come back to the team, and Mac Jones will be getting traded. So Nathan Rourke, our quarterback. We have Stevenson, we need, oh yeah, we need receivers. Juju Smith-Schuster's still on our team, to be fair. Jaseki's still there. Our old line needs revamping. We need to put weapons around Nathan Rourke if we want to win the Super Bowl. Defense needs to be outstanding as well. Matthew Judon's still there. Julius Peppers, Gonzalez. Frankie Lubu signed, Tyler Boyd signed, Cameron Dicker, and Donovan Peoples jones All right, so two new receivers, middle linebacker and our kicker, all signed. Oh, I do have to turn fatigue off. So our receiver is a 79 overall. That's perfect. Our D tackle is a 71. 73 for our tight end, which I should really get in the rest of the kind of iffy ones there. But 79, 71, 73. Very good for our top three picks. That's what you like to see. You love to see that. Um, so we're going to import that into our lineup. Right, Trenton Simpson. We're accepting this offer. Boom. We get Trenton Simpson for Donovan Peoples-Jones. What a steal, because now we have a middle linebacker who's going to progress. All set. All done. We're going to be advancing to the end of the season, or if I have anything else coming up. Yeah. One of the first trades we just did, Frankie Luvu going to the Tennessee Titans. In return, we're getting Tahir Tart, a star defensive tackle, 27 years old, and a 2025th fifth round pick from the Tennessee Titans. That is a great move. So now Tart will be a starting to tackle for us as well so the trade just went through we actually got rid of jonathan jones our corner 84 raw star he's about 30 years old the contract was coming up for james houston who star development 25 years old 73 overall and the washington commanders 2025 third and fourth round picks for this upcoming draft i think that actually works out pretty well i'm going to try to do other trades i'm going to try to get rid of Devonte parker and our right end that we have at the moment right now obviously we're not doing good this year anyway so we are trading away Devonte parker and wise jr to the Indianapolis calls for the 2025th, third and seventh round pick of this year. So now we're actually really, really stacked up for the draft class this year. So we can get a lot of players that we need. I have no idea how to feel about this, but we traded away Matthew Judon to buy our first round pick, fifth round and seventh round of this year for tight end superstar X Factor, Kyle Pitts, 90 overall, 20 three years old i just i don't know how this happened i don't know how i got this idea but it ended up going through it ended up happening kyle pitts is now the designated tight end of new england bringing back that rob gronkowski type of thing to the pet the patriots i say pats and then i switched to the patriots uh look man i just thought matthew judon was getting pretty old anyways uh tavai is 27 but they were interested in him and a first round pick i don't think we're gonna get a better pick than kyle pitts 90 overall superstar X Factor, 23 years old. That trade just happened. It just went through, which means I'm going to also trade away Mike Jacecki, and I'm going to figure out who else to get for Mike Jacecki. And after that, we'll probably send the rest of the year. But yeah, that is actually crazy to me. That is insane. Insanity that I just did that. I, I can't believe that just actually happened. But there we go. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, we have robbed the Atlanta Falcons. We get Kyle Pitts. They then needed a tight end to fill their spot. So what do we do? We trade them Mike Jacecki in a third round pick for their star receiver, Drake London. So we've brought Drake London and Kyle Pitts after years of not being utilized in Atlanta 
to New England for our all-star quarterback, Nathan Rourke. I didn't think this was actually going to happen. I didn't have any plans for this, but I love it. I'm so happy this is happening. Drake London, Kyle Pitts, New England Patriots. And now we trade away Tyler Boyd and Gotchalk to the Houston Texans for a 23 overall young left outside linebacker and Harris 70 overall. He's a star development player. Now we have a left outside linebacker. Right outside linebacker still needs concerns, but we can take that up in the draft. And now the team is unfreaking believable outside of a few different things here and there. This took me a while to actually decide on and do, but we're at the end of the day, I decided we are sending Rush. Uh, Rom we're sending Ramonde Stevenson, our 2025th, 5th, 6th, and 7th round pick to the Baltimore Ravens for their 2025th, 2nd, and 3rd round picks. I know what you're thinking. You could have got a linebacker with Ramonde Stevenson. You could have got a, a right guard. Yes, but then I looked at the draft. Let me tell you, we can draft a right guard, a right outside linebacker, and a running back. And they don't even have to be in the first round. They can all come in the second or the third round, which is what we're going to be doing. The plan is set. This could really backfire on us, but I look, trust me, I tried to get Ramondi Stevenson to come back to New England. I offered him, I think, two or three different contracts. He was a very friendly player, and he said he would accept it if the team's needs met what he wanted. So it had nothing to do with money. He just didn't want to come back to New England. So we're trading him, we're shipping him off, and that's how it's going to end. We're going to ghost him to the end of the season. I don't know if we're going to make playoffs or not, but for sure, for sure, we're going to try to do the draft and figure out stuff. I also signed Lorenzo Carter, and Cam Akers is our main running back right now on the team but that's what we're going to be doing and i think we're good to go free agency has come and gone and we have some new additions to the new england patriots we have signed right outside linebacker dre greenlaw right guard wyatt teller right outside linebacker odafe owe and we also signed d tackle harrison phillips now i know what you're saying two right outside linebackers and a right guard didn't you say you were going to draft these positions i know what i said i know what i said but there's some other positions i want in the draft Running back still up there, by the way, because there was no good running backs in free agency. But Dre Greenlaw or Owe, I'm going to switch to middle linebacker. And whichever one's better at middle linebacker will stay there with Trenton Simpson, because now we're playing a 4-3 formation, because I signed Sean McVay as our head coach now. So we're playing a 4-3 formation, so we get two middle linebackers. So whoever's better between Dre Greenlaw or Owe at middle linebacker will stay there. And the other one will play right outside linebacker, while Teller comes to the right guard. Phillips goes to D tackle to help out our star developing player. We do need a center. We also need a right end. We also need a running back. So I'll still figure out some stuff about there. Maybe we still draft some of the guys I was going to think about earlier. But I'm going to do the draft and I'll come back after the draft. But as of right now, the team signings, this is what we got. So we are currently in the draft and I had I ran out of people to draft. I didn't want to draft anybody else. So we actually traded away our center Andrews, Justin Houston, our third and fourth from this year to the Jets for Jermaine Johnson the second, a right end coming to the Pats. So division rival trades, but hey, we're gonna take Jermaine Johnson with us. We need a right end anyways, and he's a good one to come get. And uh, we're not giving up too much for him because I have nobody else I really want to draft in the draft. And we already fill, filled in the needs. We got a right end now for Jermaine Johnson. We got for Houston leaving, we get Jermaine Johnson. And I drafted the center that you will see in a little bit. The draft has come and gone. The Patriots have done their thing. And we got in the first round pick, we got a center in Hudson Gilkey. He's a 73 overall. Hidden development, by the way. Then we took Bobby uh, Faulkner, a running back, 23 years old, 75 overall. However, he was normal development, unfortunately. So we might still trade for running back in the season. Then we go to Harvey Branch. He's a 71 overall. He's also hidden development, a right guard. Then we go Jose Long. He's a 69 overall, but he's a D-tackle, 21 years old, hidden development as well. And we get to Richard Fraser, who at the end, we got a middle linebacker to kind of come in and, and step behind uh, Trenton Simpson and, and uh, Dre Greenlaw. He's 71 overall, but again, also hidden development. So there we go. Those are our uh, rookies and our draft class of this year. I'm going to put everybody into the lineup. And if I do anything else, of course, I'll show you and see where things go. Oh, I also have to mention that I made Nathan Wark a star development player because I feel like if I kept him at normal, we would get nowhere. So he's a star development player. now. We were shopping around for something for our middle linebacker, Bentley. And then the Seahawks gave us a call and said, hey, we have a star running back named Zach Charbonnet. Do you like him? Do you want him? And I'm like, let's talk business. And the business went through. We have traded Bentley, our middle linebacker to Seattle, for their running back, Zach Charbonnet, 24 years old, 79 overall, star development player, their fourth and sixth round pick for this upcoming draft. That's a trade and a half. Let's go, baby. Zach Charbonnet, welcome 
to New England. We just traded away Thornton, Tart, Wade, our sixth and seventh for this year for to Washington for their 2026 third and fourth round picks for this upcoming draft. These three guys were all on contract uh, tensions or contract. Yeah, they were all, all their contracts were expired. We had to go re uh, resign them. But none of these guys were big time players on the team anymore. So we're sending them all to Washington. Washington actually gave us the best deal out of a lot of teams that I looked. So yeah, we'll take the two draft picks. So draft finish. Obviously, we did not make the playoffs this last year, but we had a decent draft. We got Alex Morgan, a strong safety, 74 overall. He was hidden development. We also got Ricky Grove. He is a defensive tackle, 72 overall, hidden development. We also got Shelton Tart, a corner, 67 overall, but hidden development. We got Wilkinson, 70 normal. Minner, 67 normal. We have Hartwell, 63 normal. And we got Troy Logan, wide receiver, 66, but he was hidden development as well. And then Wiley and also Shearwood, both normal development players. So there we go. We also did something in free agency. Let me go show you real quickly what we did there. There he is, Christian Watson, 82 overall, superstar development player. He's 27 years old so christian watson now new england patriot he wanted to come to the team so we gave him a contract deal we're also going to sign a free agent kicker because we lost oh you can see nathan rourke 83 overall star i bumped up nathan Rourke's stats a little bit because yeah it just wasn't going well so i bumped the stats up a tiny bit but the rest of it he did develop pretty nicely with his own star development trait but he's an 83 overall now which is nice so we actually have a shot this year the same amount so jake elliott will sign him to a one-year deal uh to come over to new england and kick for us uh, so there's our kicker right there. As free agency is coming up, you know, every year you have to re-sign some guys. And I was able to re-sign a lot of the guys, but three of them I couldn't probably figure out a way to get them back as Cam Akers, Marco Wilson, and White as well. Our right end corner and our halfback, but we trade them to the Rams for their 2027 second round pick for this coming up draft. So honestly, it kind of works out for us. I'm still trying to keep some guys. I'm trying to move around others. So we'll see how that keeps and that all keeps going as uh, we keep moving on with this little rebuild here. We have no more money to re-sign Trent Brown, so we have to get his replacement, and we found the Tennessee Titans, Windsor. He's a 24 uh, years old, 80 overall, star development player. We send over Douglas and Sow, who are two guys that were on contract uh, extension. So that's uh, Tennessee, New England, a new trade. And now when Trent Brown does his part after this year, because we actually have no money to re-sign him, unfortunately, he's cost too much. Uh, Windsor will step in at the left half position. Another new day, and the trade deadline is actually here. We're finally sending off Juju Smith-Schuster to Washington, as well as our 2027 second, sixth, and seventh round pick of this year for Stills, a 72 overall right end. We had to get him because uh, Commanders had no cap space. Uh, and we, the main target we got was Emmanuel Forbes Jr., a cornerback, 84 overall, 25 years old, superstar development, baby. So that's what you like to see. He's coming over from Washington to New England. And we got a few more moves we're going to make before the trade deadline's up. We are robbing teams left, right, and center. We are able and managed to give away Trent Brown, Wilkinson, our 2027, uh, the other second round pick we had, a 2027 fourth round pick. I know we have like no picks this upcoming draft, but... The trade value on this, we get wide receiver from the Seattle Seahawks, 88 overall, Jackson Smith McJigba, superstar development at the age of 24, I want to say. Our receiving core is out of this freaking world. The last trade we're doing before the trade deadline is coming gone as we're sending over JC Jackson, Hampton, and Stills over to the Falcons for their 2027 second round pick of this year. So yeah, Jackson's getting a little bit older. He's 30 years old and I thought, you know, we can go draft the corner in the draft. Here we go. That's the final trade we're doing. Let's send to the rest of the end of the year and hopefully, uh, hopefully make the playoffs for the first time in this, uh, this rebuild. Ladies and gentlemen, the Nathan Rourke era is official upon us as the Patriots are the seventh seed in the playoffs. I actually had a good record. We finished off 11 and 6, which is pretty good. So I can't believe we're the seventh seed, but we are. We're going to be playing Cincinnati in the Bengals territory. And Atlanta, somehow after screwing them, I don't know if you can see because my face cam's up here, but Atlanta's number one seed on the NFC side of things, which is crazy. Uh, so Which is crazy because we actually took everything they had, but somehow they have the number one seed. We gave them J.C. Jackson, so I hope he's doing good over there. Commander-in-Chief, obviously the whole video is about this man. 86 overall, Nathan Rourke who is wearing number 13, 28 years old, finally taking the Patriots to the Super Bowl. He's coming in to his own and finally uh, taking over for this team. Zach Charbonnet as our running back. Our receiver core is stacked. Drake London, Christian Watson, uh, Logan hit in development of uh, Vincent Starr, and we have Jackson Smith Jigba as well coming off for this year. And we have Kyle Pitts as our main tight end, our old line Windsor, Strange, Gilkey, Wyatt T uh, Taylor. Uh, as for the defensive side of things, free safety is Mapu with Morgan backing up both Peppers and Mapu. We have Harris, we have Dre Greenlaw, Trenton Simpson, Owe, 
And we also at our D-line have Jermaine Johnson, Kirkpatrick, Grove, and Barmore. At corners, we have Christian Gonzalez, Jones, Emmanuel Forbes, and Tart, as well as our hidden development corner. Our special teams, we have Jake Elliott and, you know, Barringer. I think both these guys are leaving this next year, but it, it, it's fine. It is what it is. But that is the team so far. That is what we're dealing with at the moment. We're heading into our first playoff game against the Cincinnati Bengals. Let's see what we can do. Cincinnati, let's see what you got, baby. Joe Burrow, we're coming in to Burrowhead. Not really, but we're going to skip the moments. Of course, we're allowed to take over a couple times if we have to, but at the moment, we're just watching 3 nothing. That is amazing that we have Nathan Rourke as our main guy. Look at the studded receivers we have up here. Right there over the middle to Drake London for the New England Patriots. Zach Charbonnet breaks one tackle, gets down to the three-yard line. Why not do that? Zach Charbonnet's got a hole. What a run. Great blocking by the old lineman. And we are in for a touchdown. Oh, man. Right there over the... No! I got hit when I threw it. I got hit when I threw it. It's Charbonnet tackle. I screwed it up. Pitts. What was that? <laughs> The dream was the dream, but unfortunately, Nathan Rourke couldn't show up in the big time moment. We take the L to the Cincinnati Bengals. They absolutely wiped us. Man, dude, was that Nathan Rourke, 25 for 40, 345, one touchdown, four interceptions. I threw two of them, but he threw two himself. The Jigba did good. London had so many yards, 188. Yeah, you, you think we'd actually would have done really well, but zero touchdowns for, oh, one touchdown for Drake London. All right, on to the next year. See what we can do as the season comes to a close here. So if anybody was uh, interested, the Raiders beat the Panthers 28-21 in the Super Bowl. Max Urban, quarterback for the Raiders now, MVP, and everything else is on the right side there. But uh, that's your year for 2026. On to 2027 with the Patriots, hopefully. Can we get back to the playoffs and have a better run than we what we just what we just had? Well, not gonna lie, we uh we didn't do much in free agency. We only signed a kicker and a punter, and we then we fucked it in the draft. Uh, we we had our picks. We we took a D tackle, you know, Reese 73 overall, pretty good, not bad. Uh, then we took Holt 74 overall, D tackle, and then the third round we took a corner, Emmanuel Cheeks, uh, 70 overall, and then we took Lloyd M Maki in 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 the in the, in the fifth round. Um, 63 overall, uh, except uh, one problem, you know, they're all normal development. Uh, not one of them is a hidden dev player. <laughs> Blockbuster trade on the trade deadline week eight. We send over Harris, our left side linebacker, our second and second round pick from this year, our third and sixth round picks from next year for Detroit Lion defensive tackle McNeil, 86 overall star development. Um, look. Harris, 81 overall star, 26 years old, good player. But Trenton Simpson has got superstar development right now. He's the same age as Harris. And I left the side linebacker. He's an 84, 85 overall. So, and we need to tackle. So McNeil's coming over. That's the trade we do. I think it was worth it. it. That's a lot to give up for this player, but I, th I think it's worth it to help us further on this year. So the Patriots finished this season as the number four seed. And we finished 11 and six at the top of our division. You guys want to see the playoffs? picture let's check it out the broncos are going to be our first opponents they're coming over to foxborough the five seed broncos at the four seed patriots with the chiefs at the ravens jacksonville at the colts super bowl defending champions raiders are got the first round by uh niners at the first round by over here uh, seattle at dallas it's going to be the eagles at the falcons and the panthers at the lions so there we go that's that's the playoff matchup but we got denver coming in first uh, it's funny enough, at the end, it was like a stretch between the Jets, Patriots, and uh, the Bills. Both the Bills and Jets lost. Look, they finished 10-7, to and they didn't get in the playoffs. But because we won the last game against the Jets there, you can see it up. Uh, we actually made it. So. Big game, and now we're playing Denver and New England. Let's see. This is the first time Nathan Rourke is hosting a playoff game at home. Let's see if we can do it. Let's go. We finally put the team around them. Let's do it, baby. Let's go. Here we go in Foxborough. Back-to-back -back years, we make the playoffs, and now Nathan Rourke stepping up. Against, I don't even know who that is, but all right, here we go. Jump it. Oh, incomplete. I thought Peppers was going to be able to jump that ball. Fourth and two. They're probably going to kick the field goal. They are going for it. Never mind. Where they're going. I don't know where they're going with this ball. Jump it. Kirkpatrick with the sack. And we get the turnover on downs, babe. We have a shot. We got a shot. Oh, my God. Now, Charbonnet. 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 Out of bounds. First and goal on the two. I don't think I was going to make it in the end zone. So, there it is. Pitts with a touchdown. Clock is ticking. I don't remember what it is. Okay, high kick. I don't touch the dial, right? Or something. I don't know how you do this. I don't remember how you do the fucking onside kick. Yeah, we got it. Oh, oh my God. You're lying. You're lying. Right there. Right there. Right there. The Jigba. Make a move. 
Doesn't matter. Timeout. 32 seconds left. And that's a oh, it's a Sean McVay's our coach. I don't know if I ever explained that, but he is. If we don't get it, we don't get it. But we can't take a sack, which is what we're going to be taking. Nathan Rourke. Nathan Rourke. Don't fumble. Nathan Rourke. What a run. Sack Charbonnet. Dives. Touchdown. Patriots, baby. Nathan Rourke drives down the field. Huge scramble drill. 15 seconds after the onside kick recovery. And we're in. He caught it. Doesn't matter, though. Clock expires. New England moves to the next round. What a freaking ball game, dude. You're lying. I can't believe we recovered the onside kick. There's no way that I think we're going to recover that onside kick, but we did. Wow. Wow. Player stats. Nathan Rourke, the run of the lifetime. 24 for 32, 75, two touchdowns, an interception, a run on the ground. Rushing. Nathan Rourke picked up, what, 37 yards there at the end or something? Oh, no, he had six attempts, but he picked up a bunch of yards there. His longest run... What's the 16-yard play we ran at the end there? Charbonnet had a good game. Receiving. Uh, what do we have? Receiving. Our receivers did not do too well. Kyle Pitts. Yeah, our receivers weren't all over the place defensive-wise. Dre Greenlaw had a hell of a game. Manuel Forbes did good. The one pick went to Patrick Chatan. But we move on to the next round with Nathan Rourke and the Pats, baby. 25-21. Next up, Nathan Rourke and the team head to Baltimore to face the 12-5 Baltimore Ravens with Lamar Jackson at the, as their quarterback. Let's play the divisional round, baby. After that hell of a wild card win, let's see what we can do now. The weather's hitting different, baby. Rainy Baltimore. Let's see what Nathan Rourke and the boys can do. We're going to skip as many moments again as possible. Six yards between us and the conference. Come on. Somebody's got to get open. It's Kyle Pitts, the all-star tight end. Makes a move, gets it down to the 18-yard line. The final timeout by Baltimore is taken. And New England seals the game and is heading to the conference championship with the Canadian-born Nathan Rourke as their quarterback. Let's skip the moment. I think we're done. We are headed to conference championship time, baby. New England. I don't know who is going to be our opponents over there, but we have to hop in for one play only. The rest of the team did their thing after the wild ending in New England last week against the Denver Broncos. We take out Lamar Jackson and the Baltimore Ravens. Another year, Lamar can't get it done. Nathan Rourke, obviously, at the helm. We head in to the second, possibly, final game. The penultimate game, hopefully, to this amazing season that we have been on. Player stats, let's check it out. Obviously, Nathan Rourke was 21 for 33, 227 yards, 63% completion percentage, two touchdowns, zero interceptions. Probably a huge thing right there. Lamar threw for one as well. 20, 20 for 31 and a 169. Rushing, Zach Charbonnet leading the charge with 16 attempts, 70 yards. Nothing else there. Monday Stevenson, the former Patriot, turned Baltimore Raven. Wow. Had a touchdown today. Wow, the former New England Patriot. I forgot. I think we traded him to the Ravens. I'm not sure if we did or not. Nathan Rourke actually ran for 23 yards. Beat out Lamar Jackson, which is crazy. Receiving Christian Watson. 58 yards. We had Ramonde Stevenson with a receiving touchdown. That's actually, he's, he had a hell of a day. A rushing and a receiving touchdown. Kyle Pitts had a touchdown as well. Jackson Smith, the Jigba, had a touchdown. So there you guys go. That's going to kind of do it right there. Awesome. We move on. Well, defensive, actually. Patrick Queen, Roquan Smith, Marlon Humphrey. They had a hell of a defensive game. Holy shit. Trenton Simpson had our best game. We had Marcus Jones, Jermaine Johnson played well. Emmanuel Forbes. Okay. There you go. All right, we head into conference against two. We're about to find out. We find our opponents, and it's the Super Bowl defending Las Vegas Raiders. They won the Super Bowl last year. They beat us earlier this year in the regular season, and now we're facing them here in the conference to try to take the Super Bowl. The tuck rule, full effect. We've been all of Tom Brady and Patriots' former nemesis, the Broncos, the Raiders, all his history. Now we're doing it with Nathan Rourke and the Patriots. We head to Vegas. On the other side of things, it's actually the number one seed, Niners taking on the number five seed, Carolina Panthers. Panthers, if you do not remember, were the runner-ups. They were second place. They lost to the Raiders last year in the Super Bowl. So the Panthers have a chance to get back. Raiders trying to go back to back. New England and the Niners trying to get down there once again. Let's see if we can take the dub against the Las Vegas Raiders. Sunny Las Vegas, baby. Conference championship. I actually don't know who their quarterback is, but he won the MVP last year. Urban, that's right. I'm letting this go in. We score again. We score again. We're smoking the Raiders in Vegas. To go to the Super Bowl. Oh, boy. It's getting close. It's 20. Oh, my God. We're, we're marching down again. This is it. I think we got it. 
I think we're I think we're Super Bowl champs. I or sorry, AFC champions. We're AFC champions. The Patriots are headed to the Super Bowl. They even hop in one time that game. We knock off the Super Bowl defending champions. Las Vegas Red Nathan Rourke to a 24 to 10 victory in Vegas. And if you're a gambling man, Nathan Rourke, Canadian-born quarterback, could be leading the Patriots to score three passing touchdowns for Nathan Rourke. What the fuck? Player stats. Rourke, 20 for 26, 237, 73, 6, or 237 passing yards, 76 completion percentage, three touchdowns, zero interception. Max Urban, who was last year's Super Bowl MVP, 220. Wow. 23 for 35 and a touchdown himself. Rushing, Zach Charbonnet, 62 yards. Love to see a Josh Jacobs, only 33. Max Urban, Nathan Rourke running for 16, receiving. Christian Watson, have yourself a football game. Nine receptions, 125 receiving yards, two touchdown receptions. He was quiet last week, quiet for all the playoffs, to be honest. Comes alive in the conference game. Josh Jacobs doing really well, too. Jackson Smith and Jigba, seven receptions, 72 yards. Love to see it, and a touchdown reception himself. Wow, unbelievable. Kyle Pitts barely did anything this game, but hey, love to see it. Defensively, Dre Greenlaw. Damn, nine total tackles. Love to see it. Julian Love, Christian Gonzalez doing really well as well in his side of things. Manuel Forbes coming in. Trenton Simpson still doing his thing. Peppers. There you go. Just like that, the Patriots headed to the Super Bowl 24 to 10, the final against the Raiders. We're either taking on the Niners or the Panthers. Nathan Rourke, you're this close. The Super Bowl greatness. Well, it all comes down to this. The 11-6 San Francisco 49ers versus the 11-6 Nathan Rourke-led quarterback team, New England Patriots. Niners, Patriots, Super Bowl. Not much more to say. Here we go. Super Bowl hosts the Niners and the Patriots. Nathan Rourke, number 13. Brock Purdy, number 13. McCaffrey, number 23. And Charbonnet, number 23. Team's got the same number of players, but hey, only one team can hoist that Lombardi trophy. Purdy trying to do it for the first time. Rourke trying to do it for the first time. 13 versus 13. Only one can have it. The Niners coming out. You can see them running with Brock Purdy leading them as he comes out but on the other side the canadian born the man we've done this with every the man we did everything with nathan Rourke, coming out of the tunnel as well let's go baby pats niners let's see if we can finish this off i'm the moments are on and i'm gonna try not to play as much as possible but hey oh we start off great with a seven nothing lead it's 16 to 9 and it's a third down and five this game has been very weird but it is what it is it's still the super bowl pits i trust him he's our tight end money maker baby London, the jig bus, somebody maybe over the middle. That's Watson. Christian Watson, who had a hell of a game last week. Couldn't get the first down, though. Fourth and four. A huge field goal. He drains it and puts the Pats up by two scores. Greenlaw, the former Niner, in the middle. It's a screen. Can't get it to him. Turnover on downs. The Pats looking like they're walking away with a Super Bowl. I'm just going to play the rest of this out the Patriots and Nathan Rourke are your Super Bowl champs 19 to 9 the final score I'm hoping Rourke gets the Super Bowl MVP there he is the Canadian board can't believe he's done it all the way playing born from Victoria British Columbia then on the BC lines getting his start with the Jacksonville Jaguars getting picked up by the Patriots spending the rest of his career basically on the Patriots to finally winning the Lombardi trophy there you can see Purdy and Rourke shaking hands man Please tell me Nathan Rourke gets it. Nathan Rourke, Super Bowl MVP. Yes. Yes, it's all come full circle. Oh, from being a 60-something overall normal development to us kind of fixing a few things. Star development, 86, 87 overall player now. Nathan Rourke, 29 years old. The Pats signed him to a big deal when his contract was up the first year, and they never looked back, and they never regretted ever since. Nathan Rourke, your Super Bowl champion what a freaking hell of a year one touchdown pass for Rourke let's check the stats out Rourke 24 for 30 264 80 percent completion is completion percentage has gotten better every game one passing touchdown Purdy 15 for 22 162 68 percent completion rushing Zach Charbonnet 46 yards McCaffrey 62 yards no touchdowns from anybody down here 29 yards Rourke 25 receiving Jackson Smith in the jig by 89 yards six receptions Drake London six receptions 51 yards that's bad everywhere there uh Christian Watson had a touchdown reception in the Super Bowl five receptions 58 Pitts four receptions 41 so yeah man hey there you go the game not the best but hey it was still good 
Simmons, Cannon, Tito Costa, some really young guys there. Simpson had a good game, five solo tackles. Fred Warner was still up there. Drake Greenlaw right behind Fred Warner. Two different teams, former allies. Very good game. Very, very, very good game. Here you go. Your awards, MVP was Mahomes, uh, Coach of the Year, Romero, uh, Gallo from the Raiders, wide receiver Jamar Chase won Offensive Player of the Year, Max Crosby for the Raiders won Defensive Player of the Year, Rookie of the Year goes to Dolphins quarterback Eddie Farmer, and Defensive Rookie of the Year goes to 49ers running inside linebacker Marquise Cannon, who we saw actually in the final stats there. Seven-time Super Bowl champion, New England Patriots, Super Bowl MVP, Nathan Wark, don't you forget it. So yeah, there's a recap, and now if we head over to the final lineup, this was the final team that we had starting with Super Bowl MVP champion Nathan Rourke this is the guy we did everything with Nathan Rourke captain of the team 30 years old now 13 number 13 star development and uh yeah 88 overall ends up the season ends off this uh, episode with an 88 overall love to see it Sha Zach Charbonnet from a trade with Seattle he came in Fulker we drafted Jackson Smith the Jigba we traded from Seattle uh Christian Watson got in free agency Drake London uh, traded from the Falcons, Vincent and Logan both drafted. I think Whitaker, our tight end, backup tight end, also drafted. Kyle Pitts coming over from the Falcons. He actually regressed to Superstar, which sucks, but hey, still good. Kyle Pitts coming over from the Falcons as well. Awanu was here since day one. Teller got from free agency. Gilkey from the draft. Strange here from day one. Windsor from a trade, but he was a drafted player, but we traded, I think, with Tennessee to get him. Uh, Branch, I think we also drafted. So there you go on the offense. Defensive side of things, Mapu, Superstar X Factor. Congratulations, my friend. We actually were able to uh, keep him. He was here since day one, became a starter. Jabril Peppers, here since day one. Morgan, uh, backed up safety. We actually drafted him. Linebackers, Oweya, I think was here since day. No, we got him from Baltimore. I think we traded from, yeah, Baltimore. We got him from Bo the Baltimore Ravens, I believe. Uh, Dre Greenlaw got him from free agency. Frazier drafted. Trenton Simpson got him from a trade with also Baltimore or some other, but he got him from a trade as well early on in the year. Christian Gonzalez here since day number one. Jones here since day number one. Cheeks, we just drafted. Tart, we also drafted. And uh, Emmanuel Forbes traded with from Washington, I believe. Barmore here since day one. Kirkpatrick, we got him in the trade. McNeil recently traded uh, from Detroit. We got him. Uh, Grove, we drafted. Holt, we drafted. Long, we drafted. Uh, Jermaine Johnson got him from the New York Jets. Noel, I think we also drafted. So there you go. And special teams, cannot forget about them. Fairburn and Dixon both coming from free agency. And just like that, that is your New England Super Bowl champions. Uh, the team from New England that won the Super Bowl. And that's going to do it for this episode. The goal of this episode was to rebuild it with Nathan Rourke. We wanted to get a Canadian uh, quarterback, another Super Bowl, a Canadian-born quarterback, another Super Bowl, because there's only been one to ever do it. Now there's been two in the history books. Guys, if you liked the video, please like, comment, and subscribe. Who should I rebuild next on Madden 24? More of it's coming your way. Go check out the main channel as well. Link in the description down below. I'll see you when I see you. I'm out. And peace. Peace.